it's me Camila Rose and I'm back back again for our Tarot Tuesday this time for September 21st through the 27th last week was a moment we had a little bit of a mood we needed to rest again we've been on this kind of cycle um, I guess I'll take these cards, but I'm just going to take them for the situation in general because this is a week. My oh my. Temperance, you must balance out. You've got a little bit too much going on. You need to find that balance. And did we just move into Libra season? Of course we did. So, balancing your mental and your emotions together. So, you must make them be as one or at least make them be able to correlate and relate to each other. So if your emotions are saying one thing and then your mind is saying, well, logically, yeah, there should be this. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to be gelling too well. And that's not going to be too good for you. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking that energy and you're going to be shifting them. and You're going to temper them. Then we have five of pentacles. So maybe you're feeling a little left out, a little lost out in the way. And then we have the Ace of Swords. And so you're going to have to find up a new idea. I guess whatever you've been doing has not been working. More than likely, you're feeling like you're taking some time for yourself. You're getting a handle on things. You're feeling a little bit more in control, a little bit more balanced. And yeah, you still feel like you're on the outside and looking in. And you're still trying to figure out how do I get to that point. Now there's two ways to look at that. Either you are in the out, you're in the inside and you need to take some time to oh we've got some good stuff coming. Princess of Pentacles. So you're gonna make those moves. These pentacles are speaking to each other. So you're either on the inside and you need to figure out how to help others and you'll make an idea for that or you're on the outside trying to get some assistance and you'll get an idea about how to get that. Maybe there's some money available. Maybe there's some of these grants they keep throwing around or maybe there'll be another, what is that that we got? Not a refund, a stimulus. Maybe there'll be another stimulus. Maybe something will get paid off. Something's going to come through. And from that, we're going to get a little bit of that. Ooh, that's a good card. We're going to get a little bit of that fire. It's going to be great. We're going to be making some good money moves. Queen of Pentacles, because that's our next card. That's our card that we've got coming up. So you are definitely going to be feeling stable. So this sounds great because it sounds like that work you were doing during Virgo season, earlier Virgo season, beginning of the month of September is really coming to work with you it's really coming to fruition those things that you set aside that you were like nope don't need these they're just in the way I'm going to go ahead and keep these other things those projects you decided to stick with those that job you decided to go for it really came through for you in the end but perhaps there was some conflict going on as far as your mental and your emotional as far as how you feel about being in that space or taking that lead and because of that you needed to find some perspective and then you got some new ideas Ideas, and then you're able to go after them. Ooh, okay. And to a seven of wands. So there's going to be a little like foo 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 going on with that. Uh, maybe you're feeling like you need to defend your stance. I mean, I guess it worked out for you, so why not defend it? Okay, here's our outcome card. We're not going to keep having these cards fly out like this. Princess of Cups. And you're developing some new feelings about it. Y'all, these feelings, I mean, I'm all for it. Yay for the feelings, right? But this back and forth between the mental and the emotional is just taxing, you know. And so now you're like, all right, well, maybe I can approach this in a different way. Maybe I don't have to be so steadfast in <sighs> maintaining this position of I'm right and you're wrong or these just this dichotomies and these dualities dualities in which we continue for like they're set in stone and we can't make different decisions or take a different path we can always make a different decision we can always shift our perspective and reach out and help others or ask for the help that we need and to take a little bit of time to create a new a new way of seeing things to pick up a new point of view so that we don't view everything through the same lens all the time 
Uh, because especially if that's not a positive lens, then it just leads you into this space of continuously being in this space of feeling as the outsider. And as the work has gone, you know, you can become the outsider within. So how from that perspective, regardless of where you are, are you able to use that as a gift and gain wisdom from that and to do something that will benefit you in the long run? And it's going to take some emotional acuity because people are still, I guess, in a little bit of an aggressive move and you're feeling a little defensive, probably because things worked out for you. And so now people are like, if you didn't take the path that most folks usually take to get there, they may be feeling a little critical of you because they're doing their own balancing act. They're working on their own balancing and tempering of their emotions and their um, thoughts and perspectives and so everybody's just kind of trying to get that together so it's going to take you being a little kind and gentle and understanding but also you know y'all I'm, I'm not a fan of just letting people walk all over you you know you got the score for a reason so if you need to use it you need to use it it is what it is all right so that's going to be it I think that's a pretty good reason reading I guess we'll see how things work out huh it's pretty much all good, so let's just keep it moving and keep it going. All right, so comment down below. Uh, let me know what projects you're working on. And if you got any new ideas that you kind of, you know, are running through your head. And subscribe and like the video. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.